Hey, how you guys doing? Peter here. What I'm gonna do now uh, today. Uh, so I did the initial video about uh, what the channel is gonna be about. Uh, it's gonna be how-to videos, reviews, different things. Uh, and it's gonna be different projects I'm gonna be doing around the house uh, and, it, and just in general. Um, for example, uh, I'm gonna be doing a backsplash and gonna be doing some woodwork. I'm gonna be building an uh, entertainment system. So I'll probably just bring you guys along for the ride, show you what I'm doing and maybe you learn some things from it uh, or we learn together. So the deal today is I'm gonna prep the front cow I think it's called cow or some cow. I'm gonna prep the golf cart and then what we'll do is I'll go ahead and get ready for the wrap. All right guys, so once again, first thing we need to do is go over it with some alcohol. And this is 70% alcohol. We'll go ahead and put some, uh, some on this paper towel. Uh, from what I understand, it's better to use paper towel because a rag could potentially weave Obviously, you lint or any, anything behind when you're wiping down. So, paper towel is probably the best bet according to the research I've done. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and um, wipe it down and you know, go on from there. So, I did already do this. Um, Pretty thoroughly. I'm just going to go over it again. Now, if you guys notice, you, know, you might not be able to notice this here. Is okay, I loosen the screws so I can push it back as far as possible. So when I do the wrap, I can put it down here. Now, some may ask, well, why don't you just take it off? Well, the reason why is if I take a saw from what I know is this is holding this part down. So if I take this off and I go try to stick the wrap to it and try to adjust, it could pull off. So I don't wanna to have to deal with any of that. So I have it pushed back quite a bit so I can get my wrap there. I might try to get it all in place and at the end finish it off by taking this off. But initially I'm gonna start with this. Uh, I also wipe this part down. Like I said, I did it earlier. Um, I wipe all this down just in case there's any dust or anything, the uh, wrap doesn't cling on to it, or the dust doesn't cling to the wrap. So now I'm gonna grab the wrap, I'm gonna uh, basically roll it out, stretch it out, and see how much I need, and I'll cut it to, uh, to size. Probably not gonna video that, probably gonna be a little tedious, but I'll cut it to size and, I'll, and then I'll go on from there. All right, guys, so I got this wrap here. Um, I bought it on Amazon. It's Vivid brand. And the size, I believe, is uh, five by six. Now, that's most likely not enough to do the whole wrap. I didn't want to go buy a huge roll and then screw things up. So let me, I'm going to start with the hood. See that how that goes, and if it goes good, then I'll, I'll buy the rest or whatever I need. I also purchased this kit here, uh, and it's made for wraps and I think window tint and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go go ahead and open it up and um, you know lay everything out that's in the kit. So every item that I'm showing is um, purchased with my money. So this is what comes with the kit. These are not part of anything. And this is the wrap from Vivid. All right, so I cut a piece that, I kind of just stretched it out, got an idea how tall I need it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is measure left to right, okay? Um, the, the width of it. The reason why I wanna do that is I wanna pick up a center point on the wrap itself and I'll mark the center point. Um, so by marking the center point, I can, uh, I'll know uh, where to start it on the cart. On the, on the golf cart as well, I'm gonna mark a center point and line it up. Oh, so if I line that up, start in the center and then work my way left to right. 
uh, but at least I'll have even spacing. Hopefully the width is good enough where when I go around, it's gonna be enough material. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a slight issue um, and I'll be probably wasting this piece. We're at two and a half feet. We're gonna be here. Two foot, six inches. Now I'm using black. This is gonna be hard to see, but at the right light, I'll be able to see it. So now that I got that, I'm gonna go mark my center point on the uh, the golf cart. All right, time. Moment of truth, guys. I've never done this before, so have fun. I did mark kind of a center point here. I'm so nervous right now. Yeah. is to pull tight with two people going better so ideally if you pull it tight you don't have to do all that stuck doing it by yourself then you can do a little bit more stretch out of the uh, material. Isn't it? So <clears throat> I see people taking this plastic off before they start it. So I'm using a uh, Joe Master Harbor Freight um, heat gun. Worked good, but I just really I had it put away for probably about a year. And I gotta put this paper towel on it because this material is coming off on your finger on my finger. So not recommended.
This is annoying. This is the part that I was talking about. This thing will be. Just an average Joe just doing this kind of work. Alright guys, this is what I have so far. The camera stopped because it overheated or got too hot. I'm using my cell phone camera with the light on. It's a pain in the butt, guys. Um, I think the main thing that makes it difficult is that it's not a solid stationary surface. Um, that's why I wanted to keep it attached. But I think even if I still left that um, the brow that was over this part, uh, install i think this still would have probably pulled out the way it did so i'm trying to work it the way it is it's very difficult it's gonna look good from your house put it that way um you got this little bubble here i'm gonna add some heat and work that out and i'm just gonna keep working my way around but so far this is what i got it's not looking too bad um, but it could look better you know so i'm just gonna i still gotta work on this side this side so uh, I'm just gonna keep it moving and uh, show you the updates as I go uh, but yeah so basically to get these curves uh, you gotta heat it up pull it tight stretch it the main key is pulling it tight and stretching it uh, and then trying to use the uh, squeegee this thing right here as little as possible so I think the main thing that makes this difficult is the uh, the fact that this is not secured. If it was secure, I could stretch it from different angles with more force and have to do less uh, maneuvering. So this is a main issue here. I, I kind of wish, I really wish it didn't come apart, but unfortunately I gotta work with it. So, so I'm gonna stretch this pretty good. See how much movement this has? That's what makes it difficult, is the movement that this piece has. So far it's not too bad, but this is where I ran into some issues here. So from about three feet away, it looks good. Maybe further. Uh, you know, I have some bubbles I was trying to mess with. So my plan, so I don't totally scrap it, is maybe cutting a line along here. Having it like maybe about a half inch or an inch come down. And just follow the line and the same thing here cut this out and then go ahead and put in a new piece of wrap on it uh, going all the way around so i'm hoping maybe that would help me get, get a better um, uh, a better fit along here so it's not all you know wrinkled up and stretched this is a pretty intricate top as you can see it's that clamshell so i think once again the things that were affecting me were it being loose not being uh, attached to anything so that was one issue and then uh my skill level so but the material itself is not the issue at all uh, material is actually pretty workable but this is what it is i'm gonna probably cut that section out and try it and then do show you a video of that uh so my plan is basically just to scrap the wrap idea i might still mess with it i got the roll uh, so I'll scrap that idea and you just buy um, a new body that's painted. Seeing if I can save a couple bucks. Um, and uh, like I said, I'm trying to do everything at the minimum cost. Uh, just to try to prove to the wife that I can uh, get this thing hooked up for a lot less than what it would cost for me to buy one already hooked up. I found somebody out here that's willing to paint the body for me uh for like 300 dollars uh plus basically me trading in my existing body so uh basically um his price is 450 without the body but i'll give him my body he'll give me a painted body and i'll, I'll be able to paint it whatever uh color i want 
Um, so I'll just show you what I was messing around with. And what I was talking about was basically cutting the strip of uh, the wrap so I could put a fresh wrap over that section. Uh, but I'd rather not mess around and do all these seams and everything. I, I don't want it to look all, um, you know, rigged. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll flip the camera over. I'll go ahead and show you what I got going on. And that's kind of where I'm leaving it with the wrap. Uh, this here was just messing around. I had some just stainless steel looking or brushed nickel, whatever you want to call it. It looks like stainless steel looking paper. But for some reason, that didn't stick there. So my plan is to basically go ahead and get um, the lift kit installed. And uh, once the lift kit is installed, I'll go ahead and mess with the, put on the wheels. I'll go ahead and mess with um, the lights and all that. I did get my wheels, which are right here. I think they're pretty bad. Look at that. They're size 14s uh, with 23 by 10 um, tires on there. So I think they're going to look pretty good. All right. Talk to you guys later.